Yo guys, it's JJ, and today Mo and I are going to be breaking out a nice lucky beat for you all. Just so you're aware, Mo is doing the loop section, I'm taking over on the drums, but on my channel, we are doing another video as well, like this. However, we're using a different loop, different types of drums, so you can find my channel in the description alongside my Instagram, and on my Instagram, you can find all the drums that have been used in both of our videos, so go grab it absolutely free, and make sure to show some love to Mo, because, hey, man's got some fire loops. But with all that being said, Mo, break down that loop you sent me. Thanks for that bro, and now onto my side of things. First thing to note is, I got the sample of course, but then the next thing I did was actually pitch down four semitones, taking it down from that C minor into a G sharp minor. And then, looking at the drums, which is what I did for the beat. To be honest, pretty simple clap pattern, just like all lucky beats. However, for a bit of variation, I introduced another little offset of clap here and here at the end of every four bar. And then coming into the hi-hats, we've got ourselves a nice little rhythmic pattern here, exactly like how Lucky likes it. And we're using a nice little tiptoe hat for my kit. But to break the hi-hat pattern down, it's essentially just two bar which loops over three more times for the full eight. So if we just focus in on this little two bar loop, first things first, this little rhythmic bounce I've got going, it's kind of like a triplet bounce to be honest. I think it might be because if we go into the magnet tool on the third step, as you can see, it falls within that grid and it is a kind of bounce. But then looking at the rest of the pattern, to be honest, it is very simple. So all I do is go back onto the magnet tool, 
go on to step and as you can see just place a roll here a roll here a normal step and then once again a roll and then all i do is right click drag click control b control b control b and then copy and paste it three more times and that's pretty much that because with these lucky beats you want to keep it very nice simple and repetitive and catchy with the drums so this is what the hi-hat and the clap sound like And next up, we guys have the AO8 pattern. And for this pattern, it is very simple yet again. With these lucky beats, you want to keep them very spaced out. But looking at it, I followed the root notes, of course, which are the new ones, which are introduced because we ducked it out in four semitones. And we start off with that G sharp note playing, taking it down to the E, and then back into this nice little D, and then back into this nice little D sharp, picking it back up to the G sharp, into the G sharp again, which is a nice little extra note I added to give a bit more bounce. Then I copy and paste this whole pattern over once more to make a full eight. And then next up, we got ourselves a nice little kick pattern going over here. And I'm using this nice little soft kick for my kit, giving it a nice little bit of an oomph, but not really like, you know, destroying your headphones because Lucky Beach will have hard hitting drums, but also not too overpowering. So it doesn't really like destroy his vocals. But then again, looking at the drum pattern is very simple. We follow the 808 pattern essentially, just keeping it all on the same note. However, I took it down actually two semitones instead of keeping it on a C. I took it down to the A sharp, just because I think the kick sounded much better with the 808 with this kind of lower pitch. And without further ado, this is what the 808 and kick sound like. And there we have it hearing that very nice giving that little lucky vibe and now on to the final pattern which is our open heart and looking at this open heart pattern it might look a bit weird but let me just break it down for you essentially and i mean clearly it's a two bar loop just looped over three more times making it full eight but if we look at this little two bar over here the way i kind of played with this open hat is if we look over here i've made it so the open hat is cut by itself which means when another open hat plays the other one instantly stops so they don't overlap the reason i point this out is because if we look at the velocities of my open hat you can see it goes from high to low from high to low from high to low meaning between this open hat and this one here it'll instantly cut out giving it this weird little sort of effect which is a nice little vibe you can get for these lucky kind of beats so i'd really implement that if i were you guys and then all i do of course is just copy and paste it three more times to give you that full eight bar and there we have it the very last component to our beat so without further ado this is what a beat for lucky sounds like and there we have it folks so first of all thank you very much for watching mo thanks for having me onto your channel Really appreciate this little collaborative effort. And guys, if you want to catch the next video, go subscribe to my channel, of course. Get that kit in my Instagram as well. And guys, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Peace.